Wonderful viewers, I have a quiz for you. What does one acquire when one crosses a Wild West outlaw with the only living descendant of the world's most diabolical scientist? I imagine a low-budget 1966 film produced in eight days. So you've already seen Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter? Of course I have, as you have when we ran it two years ago. Funny. I don't recall this particular film. Oh, you don't say. Tinjella informs me that besides surveying this film on this very program on September 9, 2017, I also viewed it on Amazon Prime in 2016, on Hulu in 2015, on HBO in 2012, and saw half of it at the El Capitan Theatre on Hollywood Boulevard in 2010. Why only half that time? Oh yes, I indeed recall that evening. This was the night that Tangella decided she'd seen enough of the film and proceeded to remove all of the flush valves from the urinals in the gentleman's lavatory on the mezzanine of that particular playhouse. Needless to say, chaos ensued and I was motivated to forego the remainder of the film. But enough about the movie. Welcome to Creature Features! You've previously met my stalwart butler, Mr. Livingston. You've likely bared witness to the bundle of chaos we call Tangella. And you most certainly recall yours truly, Vincent Van Dahl, far better than I remember tonight's film. But let us instead chat about tonight's guest, because we have yet another Star Trek alumni member joining us to watch tonight's film. For we are both pleased and honored to welcome Michael Aaron to the show. You might remember Michael from when he portrayed a young Jack London on the Next Generation episode, Time Zero. This is the one where Commander Data loses his head. Literally. Michael will tell us what it was like working in Hollywood with an android, why Lieutenant Worf is always in such a foul mood, and will also enlighten us as to whether the young Wesley Crusher is just as irritating off-screen as he was on. So don't go away, because it's going to be another night of Star Trek Western Fright, right here on Creature Features! Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com Hey, it's Spooky Boo. Trouble sleeping at night? Need a little help? Relax and listen to some spooky, scary stories. I have ghosts and goblins, witches and demons, crazies and clowns. Check out Spooky Boo's Scary Storytime at www.scarystorytime.com.
There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Good evening. It is your favorite night of the week. No, it's actually my favorite night of the week, but it's sometimes yours too as well. I hope. We'll see. Welcome to Creature Features. We are here with somebody quite special, Mr. Michael Aaron. Am I pronouncing your name you are. correctly? You are. Yeah, Michael Aaron. It's only one R. One A, one R. That's nice. No, it's convenient because, you know, in some places the fonts and the letters are costly, and so <laughs> it costs less to spell your name. Michael, I, I don't even know how to describe you. You are an alumni of Star Trek, but nice. you played one of the best guest roles ever on Star Trek Next Generation, Thank which you. was Jack London yeah. in the Times Arrow episode. You know, I watched this episode again last night, and I'd always call that episode Data's Head. Yeah. But that's, that's it, it was called Times Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome. How was the trip up? The trip was great. It's close and easy. So it wasn't too long of a drive for you. No, it was easy. Got nice to see night. the coastline. That's right. You don't get to see that much in Marin. No, only if you get on two wheels, then you can go see it. I love Marin. Yeah, so I love you know, it too. I grew up there. There's the Marin Cheese Factory. Now, what's it called? The Marin. It's oh, the Marin Cheese the, Factory. Yeah, Marin right? Cheese Company. The pond Company, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I like going out there to pick up cheese. Yeah. Because, you know, the cheese they sell down the road here is not too good. All right, well, we're going to talk to you about your Star Trek thing, what you've been doing. We're going to talk about this film, Jesse James Meets Frankenstein's Daughter. I've apparently seen this film before, but I don't recall any of it. Wow. And you? You've seen it? I, I remember parts of it, yes. All right. All right. So we're going to talk about this film. We're going to talk about Michael. We're going to talk about Star Trek. And then uh, I will probably talk about other stuff, too. We'll see. So you guys stay with us. We'll be right back after the next break. You know, I don't think there's actually blue octopi in the sea. There are? She's like a scientist sometimes. Sometimes. All right, well, that uh, brings the coffin lid down on the uh, top of Jesse James meets Frankenstein's monster. You know, I won't have to say that yeah. anymore, that long phrase. But uh, it's, you know, this is the second time apparently we've shown it. It was so forgettable, I completely forgot wow. everything about it. What do you think of the film again? Now, she didn't like it. You know, there was an incident. We went to see this in Hollywood, and she, like, created quite a mess in the theater. Mm -hmm. It was... That's terrible. Anyways, that's it for this film. But you, Mr. Michael Aaron, what are you up to now? What are you up to next? Uh, you know, I'm still, uh, as an artist, creating things. And when roles come my way, I show up and do my job. And so you're telling me during the break that you also do graphic design. Yeah, I owned a creative agency for 18 years called Mojo Town. Um, and you're still doing this? Yep, Mojo Town lives, and then my personal design site um, for michaelaron.net is where I have my more professional work. And that's how people work. find out more. So that's Michael Aaron. One A. One A, one A. O N dot, dot net. net. That's it. All right. And uh, you're doing that, and then maybe some shows soon. Yeah, I love going to the conventions. It's a, it's a great way of getting a shot of 100% um, love from your fans. Adoration. Yeah, it's right. really amazing. Right. And then when I see people show up dressed as my character, which has happened a couple times, it's really flattering. That's wonderful. It's fun. Well, you know, you you were one of the uh, least forgettable. <laughs> no, I, I, it's true. It's it's just a, a wonderful role you played, and you know, it's. I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, I could think of dozens of guest roles as like not as memorable as yours. Oh, I appreciate and it. A lot of fun great. doing it. Well done. Well done. All right. Well, we want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank we you hope so much. we can have you again soon. Yeah. And uh, as far as you guys are concerned, you, you must have a wonderful weekend. Do something fun. Don't just sit around the house watching Creature Features. There's better things to do out there, right, Tangela? Mm. You know, she's our new spokesmodel. <laughs> we'll see you next week. All right. So, uh, Michael, you know, all this talk about all these films and TV shows you've done. Yeah. It sounds like a fun profession and I'm in search of a new one. So I'm wondering if you'd give any advice if I wanted to do acting like you. Well, you might want to start with shaving that mop off the top of your head. Mm -hmm.